out there in YouTube land, this is Jen and my sometimes filming partner and sometimes son, Christian! Sometimes. 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 Sometimes you were adopted. Cool. You think I'm joking when I tell you that, huh? Not. Um, and we're bringing you a very uh, merry blogmas. Um, we just got through watching a movie, and spoiler alert, within the next few days, probably, pro we're going to try to get it up before the first, we are compiling a list of our best and worst movies. Of Which is why there's been so many blogs all December, isn't it? Yeah. Us? getting so watching movies for and figured may as well make some content out of it exactly now uh, uh, but there are there are going to be some surprises don't think you're oh, going to yeah. see our blog our, our vlogs and think okay well we know our their list yeah. Oh, um, yeah. we're keeping some under our sleeves um but this movie we what we watched and we absolutely I, uh, well, we both did. I really like this one. I, I think you appreciate it a little bit more, though. I'm a super Friday the 13th girl, as I've mentioned in other blogs. Yeah. And, and if you're a super Friday the 13th fan, you are going to adore this movie. It is Never Hike Alone. Yes, it is going to be in my best list, I'm, and it's going to be pretty high, I'm not going to say where it is, but it is going to be in my best yeah, list. I, no, I adored this movie. This was a fan movie. Yes, this was a fan made. It is on YouTube right now. and It's in the description. And this is not going to be our usual vlog. We're going to talk about it a little bit, but we is... didn't hear about this. The only reason we heard about this is we were watching somebody else's channel who was doing a best list, and it made it on his best list, too. Otherwise, would you have heard of it? I'm sure we would have found out about it, but it probably wouldn't have seen it this year. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, it, it, but it's one, so if you got, so we're not going to, we're going to try to, this one is going to be spoiler free, yeah. and we're going to not try to tell you too much about it so this is going to be a short vlog mm -hmm. also after we're done talking about never hike alone the boy has some thoughts because he also saw a movie i saw a movie that we'll get we'll to get to that second. but let's get first to yeah but we are going to be doing our worst and best list of 2017 yeah. and like I, is it going to appear on your list probably? i imagine this is definitely going to be on the list somewhere at the very least an honorable mention because i really like this one i'll thank to your extent but that's because i'm not big as friday the 13th that being said this is oh, possibly one of the better Friday the 13th movies. It's so charming. We did get a Friday the 13th yeah. movie. And granted, it is a fan th thing made. Oh, yeah. But it's very well these done. These fans know these. They, they know the first three movies especially well. They do. Because that's mainly what this is. This really isn't zombie, Jason. This is more. I took this. This. this those movies didn't really happen. This is just pure on. First three non-zombie Jason. Yeah, pretty much. And um, and J and Jason, um, uh, it, 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 you can feel the love with this. Oh yeah. Oh you, yeah. The pe everybody who's involved in this, I have a feeling, are major Friday the Thirteenth yeah. love. It's not. Oh, let's make a buck. You know, mm -hmm. money's always part of it, but this yeah. was not their prime goal. Yeah. And you can feel the love and see it. And they put little touches, little details here and there that if you're a major fan or just even a half-ass fan, you're going to really appreciate it. Oh, yeah. You're going to totally appreciate totally. it. It's here on YouTube. We will leave the link it's in. It's in the description. And go watch it. Go it's, watch it. And it doesn't cost you anything. It's just, it was worth it. It's worth it. Every... It's amazing. It's amazing. And I will be doing a full review on after. Yeah. At, it, sometime in January. Yeah. Sometime down the road, I will be doing but uh, I get, Yeah. And I feel, because usually, you know us, we yeah, yeah, we yeah, yeah. We on for like feels, at least 30 minutes about whatever we watch. And it feels very weird not to talk about it much, but but really, we can't tell you too much about it without spoiling yeah. a lot of it. Um, I will say the end, uh, watch out for the ending, because it's pretty much just two people. There's just Jason and this one gentleman yeah. for the most of yeah. the movie, it's, except for the ending. Yeah, the ending was, that was so charming. It, Yes. Well, as soon as they, um, as soon as that character was introduced, I was like, that's, oh, wait, that's so cool, okay. Yeah, it is, and you're going to be the same way yeah. I was, I think everyone yeah. is. Um, he doesn't show up till the very end. But, but I kind of prefer it that way, I wouldn't agree, I don't think I would have liked this as much if it was just like a bunch of, I like how this was a, this had references, but it wasn't it's in your face. Way. This way, this wasn't in your face. This wasn't nothing but Friday the Thirteenth references. Yeah, there's a few little ones, but nothing major. And and also from a tech, and I'm not a technical aspect girl. Technically, this movie looks damn good for a fan film. I watched quite a few fan films. Like it's right up there with that uh, Punisher fan f uh, film from a few years back. 
on like actual detail and effort put you can tell put into it. It it's looks really good. Up. I like some of the camera work they did. Yeah. And again, I'm not someone who I'm not gonna pretend I, I know Sparky they knows was, it. They did a sm they did a usual thing. They did a modern kind of thing of doing it a uh, handheld GoPro style. Yeah. But they totally did it the when they weren't using a GoPro. It looked super professional. It did. And I like the one the, there was a scene and you know which one I'm talking about. Yeah. Where they I know they did some fancy camera tricks. I don't know what they did, but I could tell it was cool and very yeah. innovative. They totally. didn't have a lot of money, so they had Sam Raimi, Evil yeah. Dead. Is very kind of, evil dude, th these guys also super know they're evil dead from just on the tricks that they use, because a the, lot of them are from Evil Dead, the camera tricks. Yeah, and but very well done. And um and also I like the fact for the mo the majority of the movie we just have two actors mm -hmm. and that sometimes can work really good oh, and yeah. sometimes it doesn't and you really like and the gentleman yeah. whoever's playing Jason got it good, got it well, must have watched it and really mm. got the man mannerisms. Yeah. And he, got, he did a little bit of everything. I got a little Ted White in there and a little hotter, a little bit of everyone. Yeah, yeah, kind of a hodgepodge, but worked very effective. And also, I think the special effects, there was a, there's, there's some, some gore. There's Even some though good. it's only two guys yeah. for the whole thing, there was some gore and in it. It looked pretty good. Yep. Yeah. And it was, a, it was, it was I, I wish the studios, this would have been great if the studios had done oh, something dude, like this. Oh, dude, man. Like, even if they just kind of did a Mega Man Cross Street Fire thing and just released it as an official thing, I'd be, that, this would be fun. This is something. It's a shame not more people. That's another reason why we're doing this vlog. Maybe more of you yeah. heard of it than we did, but I think people have not heard, uh, not enough people have heard about this. Mm -hmm. We sort of did get our uh, Friday the yeah. 13th, 2017. But yes, I absolutely adore this movie. Like I said, this is, this is where we're going to stop because um, I don't want to spoil it for anyone. No, no, going to no. be in the description. In Go description. watch it, Go and there it. will be a future review on yeah. it sometime down the road. Yeah. And now, ladies and now we're, we're going to do a twist. Yeah, <laughs> this is a twist, because we felt there wasn't enough, and I have see, recently seen a movie you might have heard of. I watched Star Wars The Last Jedi. Oh my, my, this here Anakin guy. Maybe Vader someday later, now he's just a small fry. What did you think of Star Wars The Last Jedi? This is where Jen, Jen's reviews from the grave is going to shut up because again, I would never, I, 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 you guys might think this is total bullshit, but I try to be completely honest Oh, you with totally you are too. I, I do, and I'm not, and I'll tell, and even if it's like against the grain, I'll always tell you what I think, and I've got a disclaimer now, he is a huge Star Wars, Love since he's been itty bitty, Lo his grandfather got him on the movies, he had the play sets, I mean, Star oh, Wars clothes, whatever. Yeah. I've never seen any of the movies. She nor, hasn't. No, do I she have She, I she hasn't to? seen Last Jedi. I was just asking that so she could do it. Christian loves to like, since he's been a little kid, he'll tell me stuff and I I don't know. I get Benny so Bothins died for, to bring us these plants. Uh, you know, I I can all I love messing with her and telling her something, <laughs> and telling her something like totally, uh, totally that didn't happen, or an actual thing that happened in the movies, or referencing a race, and seeing if she really can figure out which one it is, if it's real or not. I can tell you guys, I think Mark Hamill is the most. Oh, Mark Hamill is Mark Hamill is delightful. But that's all I know. I like even basic stuff that you know, very casual, casual, the most casual. Who's thing. the main character in Star Wars? Um, this is this is genuine, I, by the way. This isn't a skit. She um, really... I, I, Mark Hamill's character. Right? You're right. What's that character's name? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I know uh, you guys. That you guys. I'm not completely stupid. It's just I don't have any interest. She's never. And she's I, not. A, you're not a sci-fi person. I'm not a sci-fi person. I'm, and I've said that on the channel. Um, a very even like when there's horror sci-fi, it usually don't. You're not even a big thing. thing. Like no, there's very few. I think the only real sci-fi movie that I can think that I really enjoy is Alien Nation. Seriously. Yeah, I get, I get that. that, that that's, like the, that's one of the few. I'm just not a sci-fi girl. And I don't make fun of people who are. I, I, I'm, I'm a big sci-fi guy. Yeah, yeah. Totally cool if you guys are. Just not my thing. You know, just not my thing. So I'm going to turn it over to Sparky because I really have nothing to add. I yeah. know nothing of this series except Mark Hamill is probably the... I've heard him in interviews. He's he, a very charming dude. Totally. That's all. And I know he's not happy. No, Mark Hamill is not happy with how Luke was handled in this one. So, anyway, my thoughts on Last Jedi. Oh boy. Okay, so. Okay, are you? I'll just play interview here. And are you a fan of this movie? Not really, honestly. I'm sorry, I guys. I did not enjoy Last Jedi that much. Like, I had issues with what Force. Were, what were your issues? I guess. 
Well, uh, I had issues with Force Awakens too. Uh, too. Like I felt I I liked all of Force Awakens initially, but that's a movie that's kind of soured my view in over the years. Yo. Is that? That's that's the previous film before this one. Okay. Well, actually, that was Rogue One in between it, but no one gives a fuck about Rogue Rogue One. Okay. Did any of you see Rogue One? No. Exactly. <laughs> no one saw that movie. I no one cared about that movie. <laughs> Sorry for the one big Rogue One fan out there. <laughs> um, There's not to be one of them. Some people like Phantom Menace and Attack of Clones, so I imagine. What? I <laughs> thought you were talking about Rogue One. Oh God. This, is, this, is this is gonna be one of those where I'm gonna say something she's just gonna like what? And um, this is not a skit. This is genuine. Yeah, this is genuine. She's a she's a Star Trek person more. I am not a Trekkie. Jerry, I know you're a Trekkie. I'm, I know you're a Trekkie. I have a Who's your favorite of the captains? This is your thing, not mine. Uh huh. She's a Trekkie. I'm not a Trekkie. I like Trekkies <laughs> as people. I think they're intelligent, but I don't. No, I'm not a Trekkie. And I adore William Shatner. Who, do, who doesn't? Who doesn't? Except anyone who's ever worked with him. Well, I wouldn't want to work with him, but I just think he's, you know, from a distance, he seems charming. I suppose. Anywho, um, stick, going back to Star Wars. What are your issues with it? Like, I felt that the pacing, like, this movie felt way longer than it was. Like, I thought this movie was, like, two and a half, like, almost three hours, it felt like. And I, and, like. And it wasn't a fun three hours? No, this one. Like, some parts of it were, some parts of it were good. I liked aspects. This isn't what, I'm not going to be, so this is one of the worst movies of the year. Worst movie. No, it's not. Double X is worse. Bye Bye Man is worse. Hell, Blade Runner 2049 is worse in my opinion. That was another movie, sci-fi movie this year, that super let me down, because I love the original Blade Runner to death, but that I hated Blade Runner 2049. Um, but like, no, I just felt that this movie was just so we're trying to make the char uh, introduce characters so they can have spin-off movies and all these characters and kind of a fuck the main pl uh, plot movie because we basically, I felt we had two main characters in this one. We had Rey doing her thing off with uh, training with Luke, which, yeah, she's still a total Mary Sue. Like, I, I really liked the idea of Rey when they first introduced her, but... By the end of Force Awakens, she was one of my major issues because she's such a Mary Sue. She's just, uh. I like the actress who plays her, and I like the idea, but they could have done so much interesting stuff with this character, and she's just a Mary Sue who doesn't do anything, and that kind of stays in this one. But I just felt, but no. And we have the sides. It's it's, I felt that this went on longer than Ray's story, who's the main character, is, is Finn and Rose's whole subplot, which the character of Rose I goddamn hated. She was, yes. Rose is not Carrie Fisher, right? Rose is not Carrie Fisher. Oh yeah, that's another thing. They kind of super duper don't give a, a great send off to Carrie Fisher. This was... Like, I know that some of it isn't their fault, some of it she just wasn't filmed, she died in the middle of filming this. But they could have worked with the footage they had. They could have done a crow and worked with, I know different contexts, but the crow died, Brandon Lee died when they were halfway through the making of the crow, and they were able to piece together one of the most beloved movies ever. And this, they just totally, you can tell, this is how much footage we had filmed with Carrie Fisher. The opening, the first half of the movie, she disappears into space and mind talks to Luke using the Force and can breathe in space now because that's a Force power. And then she comes back and gives power to uh, General, I saw the purple haired chick, who again is a totally bland, useless character. Have you just been doing that for a while? Uh huh. Okay. I'm confused. I'm more okay. confused now than I was. <laughs> um, she's, but she's, and she's just a total token. I'm the, I'm the strongest female character. Who don't take nothing from a man. And I have a secret plan that I'm not going to tell any of the other characters, even if it gets them killed and gets them involved in a subplot that just makes things worse. Cause that's all the Rose and Finn subplot is, is them making things worse because the general does not tell anyone her plan. 
which is a, which, you know, I know what the plan is. We're gonna hit him with a big spaceship. Oh my god. This movie was bad, man. And Luke's characteristics are totally, totally wrecked. I get he's not the main character anymore, but you could have at least kept him as Luke Skywalker, one of the most beloved main characters in cinema. And you totally just kind of made him, yeah, I don't really give a shit about any of you. Whatever, galaxy can go fuck itself. I'm going to go in my space hut and meditate. Oh, hi, Ghost Yoda. I guess we don't need the records that we built the entire prequels around. Whatever. <sighs> I do know, because I've heard, because I do think the man is charming. Yeah, you like Mark Hamill. I do. I really like him. And I have heard him in interviews say that this is not my Luke Skywalker. Yeah, he does not like how he Luke was handled in this, this one. And I'm totally... this almost be a different person. Oh, he's, he's Jake Skywalker, basically. What? Jake Skywalker. That's not a character or anything. That's just, he was saying it's entirely different character, basically. Um, but no, it's just, uh, I know this is all over the place. I'm assuming you've already seen it. It's like the number one movie of the, in the world right now. Okay, so, what did you like? What there were like aspects I liked about it. I thought most of the acting was actually pretty good. Like, even from the characters I didn't like, I liked a lot of the acting, minus, you know, uh, Ray's actress is still, she's fine. She still works with whatever she, the director gave her. Mark Hamill's, of course, charming. It was really nice to see Carrie Fisher with the little bit it was. Like, I was super bummed when Carrie Fisher died. That one super bummed me out, and I was, it was kind of nice to see, uh, to see her one more time. And all that, and, but no, and I, every, the acting was fine for the most part, just... Minus Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren's still a totally emo character that does nothing. He's, oh yeah, and they told me just kind of, remember how in Force Awakens there was a bunch of speculation over what the, over how, who Snoke is and all this? They totally just write off that character entirely. Remember Snoke? He's dead now. Good job, movie. Who is Snoke? The new Emperor. Is that like the Vader? No, Vader was the Kylo, Kylo Ren's the new Vader. What? Well, only he. I has, thought he was dead. You no, know, Vader's a, yes, Vader, Darth Vader's alive, but Kylo Ren is basically the. Oh. Uh, Kylo Ren. Oh, stop it! Just don't do it to me, please. Just stop it! I don't care. Star Wars the Jimmy hurts your head, doesn't it? I don't. No, no, just, just don't. No more. But yeah, so there was my thoughts on Force Awakens. I didn't like it at all, honestly. Uh, so you wouldn't recommend? Where would it fall? Like, is it the worst one? No, it's it? not. Attack of the Clones. And... Oh, also, I have one question. This is the only thing I think I'm the only thing I know about Star Wars. So let me look cool and smart for a second. Where's that that puppet thing? Jar Jar? Yes, that he had. The only reason I know this is because I found because this. Because of the clock. You had. He had a clock that was so god it drove me nuts. It like talked in a very annoying voice and would it tell was, you it was Jar Jar. And we found and I gave it to him because I knew it was Star Wars and, and I thought he'll love it. Fucking Jar Jar. No, Jar Jar, no one knows what happened to Jar Jar. I like to, I don't, I don't, I don't know. What, what What do you think happened to Jar Jar? Was he not in this one? No, he wasn't in this one. There were, Gungans kind of died. Everyone, after Jar Jar, everyone kind of, even like the expanded universe stuff kind of got rid of the, Gar, the Gungans. Yeah, Gungans. They were basically fish people. Only we already had a couple. We already had a couple fish Stop people it. races that were way cooler. Please tell me he's like messing with. No, I'm not. Something. But yeah, that was my thoughts on Force Awakens. So not a fan. No, but I still recommend. I would still say see it because a lot of people like this. One. This is a very divisive movie. Some I've people. That. Some people like it. Some people hate it. Some people are in the middle. Was there any parts of the actual film? Like, what was your favorite scene in the film? Was there any? I'll be honest. The opening battle was actually probably one of the best of the series. I got that. There was a lot. There were aspects. Even the worst Star Wars movies. There's aspects I always enjoy out of them. I, you know, I liked. The ending, the duel of the fates, and the ending battle with Dark Maul from Phantom Menace were was really epic. Attack of the Clones kind of sucks. I can't really think of anything other than hey, Christopher Lee was in it. That was cool. Uh, Revenge of the Sith was bet was surprisingly well acted and way better done than the other prequels. New Hope is a classic. Empire is 
super dark, and I just love that movie. Even Jedi, which has kind of started to get some shit because, you know, the Ewoks are annoying and whatever. I'll stand up for the Ewoks. Oh. You know, you know what else was annoying in a super beloved movie? The Scarecrow from Wizard of Oz, and he doesn't get any shit. And I even, I liked a lot of Force Awakens aspects were good. I just felt that it was too much of a new hope knockoff. And the last minute of Rogue One was really cool. Nothing else from Rogue One I even remember. Where's Billy D. Williams? Is he in this? I know no, that Billy I, D. Yeah, Williams. No, I spin off. Where the fuck's Lando? I'm kind of been wondering that. Like, they made, made fanfare for every character coming back, except Lando. You know, fuck Lando, I guess, even though, you know, he was an awesome ass character. Lando? Lando, Lando Calrissian. What? I need to show you Empire Strikes. No, no, I'm not watching these. I'm sorry, no. Um, not my thing, people. No hate, just but, not yeah. my thing. So that's my thoughts on Force Awakens. Give me the send the, send your hate mail towards me. I guess I don't know. And Whatever. It, and it wouldn't be your worst though. No, this is this is like like Attack of the Clones, Phantom Menace, Rogue One for how pointless and no gi fucks given I have towards that movie. And probably this one and Revenge of the Sith are kind of on the teeter totter, and then probably and then probably Return of the Jedi and Force Awakens flip flop, and the first two films, yeah. What's the Sith? With that, ladies and gentlemen, as always, uh, we. <laughs> I think I just humiliated my son to all the internet. I don't, this is not a skit. I don't know these things. Um, but with that, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the conclusion of another vlog. Uh, Merry Vlogmas. Merry Vlogmas. Because today, today is Christmas. Yeah, and Merry as Christmas. always, if you I got a cool shirt. Oh, yeah. He, that, that, I got a cool thing. shirt and some Motorhead albums. Fuck yeah. Yeah, he did. I uh, That was a stock. I needed a stocking stuffer, and I managed to find this one. We live, we've said this before. We live, we in, live in hell. Basically. And there's there's no horror in hell, ironically, um, but I did manage to find this. I needed one little stocking stuffer for a stocking, and I found that cool shirt. It's a good ass shirt. So yeah, I, I, I am. I am it makes me want to watch American Gothic, the horror movie. It's a that's a great. That movie. is a super underrated. If you haven't seen American Gothic, the horror movie, check it out. It's a super good movie. It is. And with that, lady, but <laughs> again, uh, we keep going. Let's have these vlogs. Let's going on tangents. It, that's <laughs> just our thing. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. And if you do and you haven't hit that subscribe button, please hit that subscribe button we appreciate all the subscribers we get and as always we wish you all a merry christmas and we'll talk to you real soon bye